We're back. More Noita. All right, this run is going amazing. Amazing? Yeah, pretty amazing. There are still pieces I need, but I can get them. To get them, I want to go dig down in the desert. Okay. Just blow that stupid box up so that I can keep progressing. I could go up. Going up would take a while. Okay, this should be where I actually go up. Somewhere around here? Yes. Let's go get this free orb. Probably make my teleport wand a lot better. Mana charge speed 106. Oh right, this damage plus would help. There we go. I've already made it better. Okay, it would be better if it wasn't casting so fast. It still casts two spells. I think that'll be good. That feels better. Alright, let's go fight. What? I thought I saw a flash down here, but maybe that was my own spell. Let's go fight the pyramid thing. This would just lead me down to the lava monster. I don't really want to deal with the lava bridge monster. Partially because I can't deal with it. It will just destroy me. I'm stuck. What the hell just happened with the music? The music started playing, then like instantly stopped. Okay. I just saw a flash down there. I saw it again. Why does it keep doing that? It flashes behind me. Game is weird. I feel like it's a bad sign that the music turned off. We're going to mods. Okay. Wait, is that restart? Refresh. I think it's just this. I don't like it when Noida starts acting weird. Okay, I feel like maybe this is better. I still see the flashes of light behind me. It's hard to tell because this game is so weird. Like, when it's intentionally weird or when it's breaking weird. Okay, to dig through here. What do I need? I kind of just need, like, a lightsaber wand. To get a lightsaber wand. I mean, ping pong path would be good right now. 
I'm kind of breaking all of my stuff to do this. And I'm not even breaking it and putting it on the right wand, really. Okay, so I have one way in. I like having two. Slowly erasing pixels. It's kind of fun. Just seeing them bounce once they break through. Okay. Now. Let's actually think about what I want on these wands. So I want the freeze, I want the damage plus, I want... Ping pong path goes on to this one. This doesn't need to be a triple cast. So how many spells get cast here? Three, four, five, six, seven spells. And I only have six spells, that makes sense. Okay, what about this second one? The second one's supposed to have an energy orb. Nope. Second one's supposed to be a teleport. What happened to my teleport? My teleport is down here. Okay. Third wand. Third wand has 255 mana charge speed. Has ping pong path. Because it has ping pong path kind of tempted to just say forget the spark bolt I could and it has decent mana charge speed we could just do this okay it casts surprisingly slow why does it cast so slow is it just because it's using up all the mana don't I have more chainsaws now I kind of do I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, this will do some damage. But it was nice having an energy orb on there, too. Now it'll do some digging. Okay. Jar full of orbles. So you have a damage shield at first. Is your damage shield down? Is that wizard fighting you? Hey, your damage shield is gone. Too bad I only do... Holy knockback! A very small amount of burst damage. I've never been hit with that before. That was craziness. So this shows a small flaw with my current setup. Hopefully this wand has something amazing. This wand is not amazing. Um, seven capacity. Decent mana charge speed. I do like random damage. I don't think I need this. Cannot pick up random spell. That's okay. I don't need random. 
Copy three random spells. If having one of those is good, having two of those is probably also good. Random projectile spell. That scares me. So I'm looking for reduced mana cost. To find that, I don't really want to be in this pyramid. I want to be to the right of the pyramid or to the left. I can never remember. So, it's not the best at digging. It does create a lot of lines through soft materials. Hard materials are the problem, though. So, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be because I shouldn't have to go through hard materials to get to the wand area. Wait, wait, wait. This looks promising ish. This looks very promising. This could be the edge of the fungal area. This is definitely the edge of the fungal area. Right. I'm not going to be great at blowing up fungal things that blow up. So we're looking for reduced mana cost, big time. There's a lot of unstable teleportanium in this run. I still want to figure out what makes lively concoction. That would be nice. Something just exploded. It's not super surprising because the fungal area explodes like crazy. I wonder if anybody will end up playing this seed and figuring out what makes life leak concoction in it. I'm playing this and recording it like all at once, I think. So even if you do and you let me know, it'll already be too late, probably. But who knows? Maybe not. I really like this spell. Chain spell is expensive, but it can do craziness. Um, except it doesn't end up getting the modifiers. A lot of the things that could be craziness aren't as crazy because the modifiers don't transfer. I do want that, though. So to get that, I don't have a good way to heal. It's kind of scary. That's a lot of fungus piling up. So my digging wand is pretty good in this area. Wait, is that just a really small fungus area? Or does it extend further? Okay, it does extend further. Those are frogs of death. that my digging was a little bit better but it could be if I just find just like three reduced mana costs is that so much to ask for 
damage field is something that I kind of want. This is a 15 slot. I could use this just for storage. The recharge time is really bad. The mana charge speed is also really bad. Okay. gonna lightsaber these up a little bit. That mana charge speed. I think I have to use that for my digging wand. Plus it has nine slots. Okay, to use that for my digging wand, I need to temporarily throw out this wand, I think. That's not the way to do it. I take this, throw that out. Cool. Now, get rid of all this junk. Don't need it. So it already casts three spells. It's kind of cool. Like, I almost have enough lightsaber on there that I don't need the energy sphere. Energy orb, energy orb. Okay, but the energy orb is better when it casts quickly. Take this. Put these back in the right order. I need this to come down here. Damage field is kind of cool, but not really necessary. All of these lights, again, not really necessary. So my digging just became a lot better. And the damage that it does became a lot better. Okay. This might create a bunch of lag though, which is scary. I only have 123 HP. That exploded into slime or fungus or whatever. For a second, I thought it exploded into polymorph. That was a bunch of gold, but I don't care too much about the gold. capacity larpa explosion have i ever used larpa explosion i don't think i have i would like that maybe i have it's hard to keep track i want to go to a safest safe ish place before doing anything with the larpa explosion ideally i'd be at a spot where i'm about to heal I don't know if I can hurt myself with the LARPA explosion. That was an upside down chest, I think. 
What is that? Hmm. Copy spell three times for 40 mana, and these cost 80. There's something I could do with that. Gunpowder potion. Okay. Max HP. Random damage is good. Orbiting arc. Is orbiting arc better than ping pong path? In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. Okay, I have to figure out my storage situation. I don't think I actually need this one. I probably don't need this at this point. That's an enemy. Okay, so my question was, is this better? Not really. Okay, makes a projectile launch. Eight magical bolts if it moves slowly enough. This does a lot of damage. That can also hurt me, I think. Quadruple spell. I don't know if I care about that. This wand itself is pretty good. 15 slots. That could be my new this wand. This wand is just a teleport wand, but it also has other things I care about. Okay. It has heals. Those heals are very important. It has lots of heals. I have copy a spell three times. I have to think about this a little bit. It's a lot to think through. And I have chain cast spells. There's some craziness I could be doing with that. Okay, I kind of want to switch back ping pong path. So, I want to transfer this stuff onto this wand, but still keep this stuff too. We got this. Totally got this. Okay. I just don't know where to put it all. LARPA explosion. So this wand, 216 mana charge speed. That's a good amount of mana charge speed. What else can I put on here? For right now, I'm just going to store all of these down here. Okay, I did not do a good job of clearing off this one, though, which is one of the things that I wanted to do. Here, I'm going to store my rocks onto my teleport wand. Is that smart? Probably not. Copy spell three times. That's going to get stored here. I can't currently use my teleport wand, but that's fine. We just need to make space. I don't need this at all. I'm so close to having the space that I need. Um... So I just have to get rid of some things at this point. Things I can get rid of. I don't actually think I need this essence to power. There we go. I got rid of a thing. One thing. I don't think I need... I do think I need this triple cast. 
but I don't know if I need it. So I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, there we go. I cleared off all the stuff. Now, how do I have this many spells and I want to keep like all of them? So I don't actually need this heavy spread, but I might want it. I don't think crit on burning is amazing. Crit on bloody is pretty good. If I can afford it, which I currently cannot. I don't actually think I need reduce recharge. Okay, I have a lot of good stuff. I can't use my teleport. I can't use this wand, but I can use one and two. Things are just getting more and more cluttered. But eventually, I'm going to go try and heal. By eventually, I mean soon. I just want to see if I can safely get a couple more spells first. Keyword, safely. Eight slots is not enough. Now, 20 slots. I see the recharge time is a pain. 20 slots is even more than 15. <sighs> Gravity. Look at how good this wand is. It's not even that good, but kind of good. Another double cast. Oh, don't come near me, explodey mushroom things. Okay, laser eyeball goes here. I think that means I'm close to the right edge of the fungal area. I need to use these heals. I have lots of spell refreshes. Okay, I'm over at the right edge. Levitation. That thing created a bunch of spores last time. God, if I could get explosive immunity, I have a bunch of explosive synergies. I also don't need that though. Oh, okay. That's the thing that puts out the spores. Okay, it's the tall mushrooms that do that? I'm not sure. I have 84 HP. Don't do that. It was the tall mushroom. Okay. <laughs> There's... I clicked wand number three. I don't even know what I exploded myself with on wand number three. That was going so well. Hey, I did have LARPA explosion before. Copy trail. Upwards LARPA. This was the run. This was it. I this was so good. I had so many heals available, and I had ways to copy them to make, like, crazy numbers of heals. I don't even know. This game destroys me. So the new progress, once again, it was this. Liquid Vacuum Field, which was kind of cool. 
Okay. All right. For now. I just want to... There's nothing to even see. It's... It didn't even copy that part? Really? Is this all it has? Shouldn't it have in the replay? I guess it's showing 33.7 seconds. But shouldn't it have my death in here? All right, for now, that does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.